All right. Welcome to the stream. I'm Gamer John. You can call me John. And uh, we're getting back into Skyrim. Uh, so I was able to fix up the mods that were giving me some trouble. Uh, mainly, it was the uh, I believe it's Aurora is the title of the actual mod itself. It's a mod that changes how the standing stones work, gives them a little bit more flavor. And also my hunting mod wasn't installed, which, you know, big oops, thing is that's what this was all about. All right, something's weird on my capture. Don't see the game. I see you guys can hear the game. Hold on. There it is. Movie magic. All right, let's go. You know what? Let me, for a hot second, I'm going to get rid of the follower goal. I like having it there, but you know what? It kind of throws things off just a little bit. So where is that follower goal? Let's just hide that. All right. And we're back. Should be back into it. All right, so now we have some options when we interact with uh, bodies of, you know, of animals, which is we can pick up the bodies. They're very heavy. It's not something you normally would do for most of them, like a mud crab or a skeever. Yeah, go ahead, pick them up. Not a big deal. Um, but something like this big wolf, it's going to... Here, let's, let's take a look. See, wolf carcass... It weighs 80 pounds. That's pretty heavy. It's not a big deal right now because I'm right close to town. But if you think about it, you're going out, you're hunting, you're trying to gather a lot of uh, materials. Um, that's going to end up, you know, weighing a lot. Uh, turn off that music. And because of that, it's going to mess things up as far as... Um, you trying to hunt in a legitimate fashion um, but we're going to be getting into a lot of stuff like camping uh, taking care of ourselves and things like that now here we are oh also the standing stone like I was saying is a bit different did I even get it yet? I know I fixed it um yeah, so we uh, so the three main stones, the three starting stones, so the warrior, the mage, and the thief, they still do have the path where you learn your specific skill set faster. I chose warrior for right now because that's going to help my archery, which is a warrior skill, and it's going to also help my smithing skill because we're trying to be kind of more independent. That's kind of the game plan I'm wanting to go through. I don't want to do so much of a buy as I go. The only things I'm really probably going to buy uh, are going to be specific potions until I can make them like cure disease and um, eh, enchantments. Now I have a mod on that makes it so that way I don't have to know enchanting. I don't need to know enchanting at all and I can get stuff enchanted. It's going to cost me money. It's going to cost me time and materials. Um, also we can see here on the warrior stone it adds a different bonus as well. So the author of this mod did not like the idea that the standing stones for the main three uh, and all of them were kind of bland, honestly. Uh, so that for the warrior stone, power attacks and range weapons, uh, whenever you're further out, the further out you get a higher bonus. So power attacks straight up just get 15% more damage and depending upon how far you are from the target, uh, you can get up to 15% uh, more damage based upon that distance. So it really lends itself to sniping, you know, doing that long distance firing. Um, let's see here. Now we got Frostfall up and running, camping. All right, all right. I think I had already gone through 
these options. Yeah, I had done that. Uh, I don't know if I prayed today, so I'm praying to Jeff. Jeffrey, he's a... Uh, he's a god of... Bosmer. Now, I'm going to go pop over here. So we helped a guy get out of the cave. I thought he was bald for a second. <laughs> and we're going to go here and we're going to say hi to him and his family. Sigrid, we have company. All right, looks pretty good on the capture. It's it's darker on my screen from what I see versus the capture. Pretty sure the software was hi, intended Mark. to do that, so, so it's good. I like you. that. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now that my snow has melted. What's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' skull. We were stopped in Hellion when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. <laughs> you aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. All right, so as typical, Alvor, uh, whenever you help him out, you've brought back his nephew. Uh, he, get, he gives you some stuff. He, he have an option, a few things. I'm not gonna take everything from him, most people do. I'm gonna take this leather tent and bedroll. If he's offering me that, I'm gonna take that. That's gonna be helpful. Uh, you can keep your fur boots, iron ingot, and lock pick, and some healing potions. That'll be useful. You can keep your ring. Um, the Yarl needs to know if there's a that's kind of the, the this Riverwood is it's supposed to be the kind of we need point of this playthrough. Is you, you go with what's useful. Send whatever soldiers you can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. All right, now I'm gonna back up. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Well, I don't better get that to work. All right. Back out. So Alvor comes back out, and he's gonna go work his forge. I'm gonna give him a minute to actually get over there. I'm gonna go over here to the trader. I'm gonna sell a few things well, while one I'm of here. Us has to do something. I said no. No adventures. No theatrics. No thief chasing. No oh, Gerder followed well, me. What in. are you going to do? Well, I don't know what you overheard, but excuse me, excuse me. I, oh, a bit of this, I need service. A bit of that. So let's take a look. See here. First, let's sell off some stuff. We don't really. Want slash need. Uh, let me see here. Hold on before I get into all of that. Because there are restrictions on what people buy. So. Don't want to sell off. That's way too many potions. There we go. Have some bread, have some cabbage, cheese, green apples. I'm gonna try to stick to a more traditional wood elf diet, which is meat. I shouldn't have sold that. Oh well. Alcohol is used to cook um, with the mods I have on, so. Lantern. Roll paper could be useful. Um, Using crafting, certain things. Uh, Alright. Uh, I doubt you have anything I want. 
Got something to say? Yeah, always the problem when people are talking to you, they just kind of pop out with you. Take what you need. Cross. The Oops, when you get to white road, that. just keep going up. Nobody has a really bad memory. Or deal some damage. Uh, let's see here. Now those pelts are mine, though. You can't have those. Um, I'll right. stake claim to those ingots later on, but right now I'm going to just go ahead and... Do we have so when it comes to the Hunterborn mod, uh, you need depending upon your settings. I made it so that way you need it. Uh, you need hunting knives, and let's see. I think right now all I can make is iron. Uh, so not any dagger will do. You have you need an actual legitimate uh, hunting dagger. It's made specifically for that. Um, so unfortunately you do need that. So I need an iron ingot. I got the strips, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... So let me have some of this iron, so I'm going to go ahead and take some. That's not a weapon. It could be used as a weapon. I mean, it does have a damage value, but, you know, it's... It's going to be always really coming up short as far as in comparison to some others. Um, now there's a hunter that lives up here in this house. Oh, he's going to stop and talk to him to it for a bit. See what kind of supplies. He may or may not have. Doesn't seem to be home. Hastily written note. Strange activity around Embershire Mine lately. A few weeks, woman got severely beaten. She wandered in the road north of the mine. Her family's in Halligan. People of Riverwood are worried. If you go near the mine. All right, so the owner of this uh, lodge has gone up to a nearby mine because uh, bandits. Uh, a woman came into town, she got attacked, and because of that, um, I'm just going to throw this carcass in here. Um, it seems the hunter's gone up there to I'm just go drop off a bunch of my stuff. He doesn't mind if I use this. We'll be using poison, but not that poison. That's a uh, little special stuff. We're gonna be going in here. I'm not gonna be needing a lot of this stuff. This is a this is a rescue mission, basically. So, Odie's, uh, wouldn't really call him a friend, but an acquaintance, another hunter that lived in that lodge, has gone in here to this ember shard mine. And he's not back, he's, so he's going to go and find him. See what's up. Let's grab a torch. I wonder if it's talking at us again. That's not our friend. All right. We could see the ghostly trail there. Yeah, that's because, uh, our instincts, so our hunter's instincts, as long as we're still, we can kind of figure out where people are moving. All right. Damn. My friend's not happy because my husband went to the other room. 
to draw. And well, Winifred was trying to help. As in help, I mean drive my husband crazy. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna tag that. Put your fist down. Come back and check the stuff out in a bit. Right now, we need to find our friend. a little bit of a beating there. It's alright. And we should automatically pull out our... Nope. Winifred. Yeah, I know you're sad, but you did it to yourself. Ranger managed to sneak past our door guard. The moron, moron fell asleep at his post. Ranger was captured and is now in a cell next to that treasure room. We lost a man, Sebjorn. Poor man got an arrow between the eyes. Won't keep quiet. It's late. Most of the men are trying to get some rest. All of the blacksmith got angry and, well, the ranger is now dead. Found the key. Keep it. Could be worth something. So it seems they killed Odie's friend. What jerks. And they only had his body in here. They must have disposed of it. Let's see if there's anyone else here. Someone down there mining. Had someone down there mining. And his friend came to check on him. How nice. Alright. Oh, he's not too happy with everything. In fact, let's have a snack. So we get some bonuses uh, based upon the enemy's stats. So as it's like 10% uh, of whatever their uh, uh, three primary stats are. So health, stamina, magicka. Uh, I get, or Odie gets 10% of that. There's evidently someone at the front gate. Get him right in the side of the neck. Alright. I also get uh, some pieces, so I get some hunks of human flesh and uh, a heart. So, I got those. Good for alchemy, especially the flesh. If I get that, and I believe it's imp stool, I can make a pretty good. Uh, Paralysis poison. That's uh, I think it's paralysis and poison damage actually. And that's what he's good to. He uh, prefers that. Obviously, it doesn't work on everything. He seems to remember some Dwemer uh, constructions. Obviously, they. Are not going to be susceptible to poison, but um, we 
just got to be careful with those. Let's hop down here and see what we can find. We got a book on light armor forging. Okay, we'll take a little read through that. Let's take their stuff. Jerks killed my friend. Sad face. Let's look around here. Anything else of value? Ski or hide. Oh, there's still some meatless pheasants. Come here. Come here. Hold on, I have to tend to my kitty. Come here. Psst, psst. No. She's so distraught. She's just too affectionate to my husband, and he's trying to draw one of his hobbies. And, uh, well, she's not very conducive to, like, being like that. I wish she would just come over here and be nice and sit in my lap. Come here. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do all of that. Or none of that. Uh, let's see, we'll take that, we'll take that. We'll grab those. <sighs> well. My hunter friend is gone. We're just, and we killed the man who killed him. So we're gonna have to just hope that that is enough for now. Let's, uh, let's pray to Jeffrey. Thank you, Jeffrey, for a friend. And yeah, we're just gonna have to move on. And our friend would not have wanted us, hey, I'm still, I have uh, wanted us to be too forlorn in all of this. He would have wanted us to kind of move on. So that's what we're going to do. So first off, let's dump this wolf carcass. Good places any right there, right? Now let's go ahead and start taking care of this guy. So first thing is we're going to field dress it. So without <clears throat> the right tool, without the uh, skinning knife, you can do this. But you're never going to get much out of it. It's not going to be good. Uh, so we're going to skin the pelt. So I got a poor pelt out of that. And that's just because my skill's low. And my knife kind of sucks. Uh, so we're going to harvest some ingredients. So that's thing. So completely failed. Our attempt to harvest bones, organs, yielding only a slop of core and no useful material components. Yay. You could fail. At the... So there is a skill progression in this. It just takes time and practice. Um, and then we could dispose of the body. Real nice. And it takes time. You can see now it's nine at night. Didn't really do much, did I? You know. But, it, you know, the fact is we took the time to clean that animal. And get some useful parts out of it. Hey, diamond. It's you know, come up. She's sniffing around. I got cables on the floor, so she's interested. Yeah, come here. I don't have a precious for you. Oh, cat. Hey, sweetie. She may not stay. Or she may. She's a good girl. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> All right, let's look around here. What my friend had. Cat butt. Uh, arrows and a huntsman's bow. So. We'll go ahead and we're going to take his bow. It's not disrespectful. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, let's take some of this stuff. It's obviously going to go bad. I don't want the plate. There we go. Take that troll skull. The hat. I don't want the hat. Oh, actually, 
shank. Oh, give me that back. In the chest, empty chest. Basically, yeah, yeah, another water skin. Let's go ahead real quick. I'm gonna... <laughs> There's a cat here, and it deserves to be on camera. Uh, that's not going to happen. I just messed it up. Oh, no. Okay. I'm just going to... Leave it as is. If she pops up, she pops up. Hey, look at that. I could turn it a little bit more. There we go. Cat. Quill and ink. And a strong box. Okay. How are we doing on food? We, we are mildly hungry, so let's eat. We can see that there's percentages next to the food. And because of that, uh, that's telling me how good it is, how uh, percentage wise, like how fresh. Uh, I'm going to go for the horker loaves because they are, frankly, very heavy. And now we're well sated. But yeah, you can get sick. Yeah, you can get a disease from eating poorly kept food. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Winifred. <laughs> oh, Winifred. Come here. Come here. Here. Take a look. Winifred. Up here. <clears throat> Up here. Well, that's my cat, Winifred. So I got Winifred, you saw her little gray one, and I got Diamond here, who is a pretty princess. I'm going to update this. Because I have cats here, and they deserve recognition. Can I add a tag? Animals. <laughs> oh, only five. Okay. Well, boo, I'm afraid you guys can't be shown on here. Hi, welcome to the stream. I'm Gamer John. What a Fred. <laughs> she just climbed behind the TV. Uh, this is Diamond. Oh, Diamond. We're playing some uh, Skyrim Special Edition with mods and whatnot. Oh, that terrible moment where I need to go take care and pull my cat out from behind my TV. <laughs> no, I don't. What Fred says everything is okay and that I don't need to go retrieve her from back behind the TV. Winifred, is that true? Or are you lying to me? And I should actually come back there and save you from the back of the back of the TV. You don't know? Alright. Okay, I'm gonna save you. I'm coming. One second, cats. <laughs> so yeah cats they're adorable they add quality to it i mean maybe possibly anyways uh so let's go ahead and take this i got a couple empty water skins so i'm gonna go fill them up down here in the river and then i'm gonna 
boil it off over in that cooking pot. So let's see here. I have three empty water skins. Okay, and then Sweetheart. Diamond, can you go and she's looking at her <laughs> like you are insane. Give her a couple snippy snaps, she'll come. Flour tea. We can make some boiled eggs if we wanted to. Sure. A Winifred. You're not being very nice. Come here. It's all right. Where's your bun bun? Do you have your bun bun? Yeah, go get your bun bun. You ran right by it. Oh, it's okay. Come here. Come here. Come here, sweetie. I know, he doesn't go in the office that often, but he's doing some delicate work. You gotta let him do his work. Okay, come here, come here, come here. You wanna play, don't you? That's dangerous. Come here. Oh. Alright, fine. Come here. <laughs> Alright, you be you. And I'll be me. We'll get together, probably. Okay. Got the... Okay. Hunter's bedroll is really useful. It's just a bedroll you can drop down wherever. Uh, the tents, you can't just drop those down wherever. You have to... Uh, yes, thank you for the crescendo. Uh... Oh, that could be useful. All right, yeah, let's make that. I'm gonna need quite a lot more material. Diamonds on the move. Oh, where are you wanting to go, sweetie? I'm gonna need a lot more material to actually um, make my gear. So at this point, we're running around with borrowed gear. I'd like to say. Uh, it's not something that we've made. It's definitely not uh, a style that we, <laughs> we being Odie, appreciates. So it's something he's going to probably end up getting rid of fairly soon. Let's go ahead and level up. There we go, stamina. And I'm going to go archery because that is our main thing. We are Odie's a, Odie's a hunter first and foremost. So that means he's a sniper uh, as far as what he's going to be able to be doing. Uh, what do we got? Can't make much of nothing right now. So I'm going to store some stuff here. I'm going to store some crafting feathers, the goat hide. That's mine. So I'm going to make this my crafting bag. Uh, Mammoth Tusk, I could keep that with me. Hey, welcome to the uh, stream. I'm Gamer John. You can call me John. This is Diamond. If she ever perks up, and you'll probably hear Winifred. Uh, but yeah, we're playing some Skyrim. So we got our small leather tent. That's going to be useful for uh, 
rain. So for our exposure, uh, obviously being wet, it's going to uh, be more, it's going to increase that exposure rating, which could lead to death. Smithing sneak, pickpocketing, alchemy disruption. All right, so improving smithing, that's going to be pretty straightforward, by the way. Thanks for the uh, follow. Appreciate that. Um, so improving smithing, you can do that. It depends what kind of gameplay you're going for. Um, so, for example, my main character I'm playing here is Odie. He's a uh, wood elf and he's a hunter. That's kind of his thing. And he's getting pulled into all this mess with dragons and whatnot. Um, so... He's going to be doing, you know, his thing is he, he hunts a lot. Uh, so, obviously, there's going to be the actual tanning of the leather. So, that's taking those skins and those furs from the animals and uh, turning them into workable leather. You can actually get a fair bit of experience uh, for your smithing just by doing that. Uh, just by refining materials. Whether it's skins or Take things like need, that. Hmm. Um, Blades, helmets, after that, you're going to be crafting stuff. Uh, for a hunter like Odie, he's going to be crafting not a whole lot in that he's going to be crafting. He's going to be crafting like multiple sets of armor or multiple weapons. I mean, as he remembers how to make some better stuff, yeah, he's going to end up with some better gear. Um, but the main thing for him in this example is that he's going to be making a lot of arrows um, now I use several mods for my crafting and uh, different armor sets so like I use the Bosmer gear that's from Hoth Trooper 44 I believe it was his name on the Nexus It really is. It's a it's a super great game, uh, with everything that you can do with it. Fallout, yep. Uh, Fallout Three of Fallout uh, New Vegas were my favorites. Fallout Three was my first one I got actually exposed to, uh, and then I went back, played one, two, Brotherhood of Steel, the old top-down isometric games. Um, but with 3 in New Vegas, that's where I started getting into modding a lot. I actually uh, used a mod called Tale of Two Wastelands. Which I don't know if you ever heard of that. It's a really cool, it's an intensive mod. So it takes time and care to get it working properly. Uh, but it's great. Uh, follow for follow, bro. Just turn it. Uh, I mean, sure, if you want to follow me, I'll take a look at your channel and we'll see about, um, you know, what you got going on there. Yeah. So, yeah, and uh, that Tale of Two Wastelands was really cool because you would start out in Fallout 3 and you could play through as much of the storyline there. But then you could get onto one of the underground uh, tram stations and... Ooh, that's me. And uh, you could travel to New Vegas, uh, which was really great because then you were taking up the roles. The courier is the same character. So it's like, you know, it's the whole like what happened to, uh, you know, the character who walked out of the vault. Uh, oh, what vault was it? 101? Vault 101 in Fallout 3. What happened to him or her? Yeah, they went off. They evidently just traveled to New Vegas and became a courier. It's really cool. Just started your Twitch account? That's okay. I mean, I've only been doing this for about a little, you know, month or so. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, if you want to drop me a follow, I appreciate every follow uh, I get, or even just people dropping in and lurking or commenting. It's really cool. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a follow and see what you got coming up and we'll take a look at it, yeah. Not a problem.
Yeah. It, it's a little bit tough streaming these games. I mean, if you get a following, it's really cool from what I've seen with other people. Uh, being still pretty new myself, uh, you know, I haven't really got much of a following as far as that. Uh, actually got a lot of followers from Warframe. <laughs> Which is a really good game that I still that I do play still, but uh, I got my Skyrim up and running, so I really wanted to play this. This is one of the games that I would love to like uh, be able to stream more regularly. Yeah, thank you for the follow. I'll uh, I'll find you after my stream. Being a bit here, I'm probably gonna stream for a while. Let's see here. You can buy my eggs and this other non-meat. Yeah, well, I want to keep the alcohol for cooking. So yeah, I do a lot of heavy mods. I don't know if you've ever worked with mods at all. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, all right. Well, thank you very much for the host. I appreciate that. Um, what was I doing? I was in the middle of something and I forgot. Uh, no, nah, I don't like that. I don't like those potions. Here, buy some of that. May your road lead you to warm sands. I admit, the dragons are... But yeah, like, I don't know if you ever really got into, like, mods or anything for these games. I mean, obviously, you're more limited if you uh, play on console. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, there's still uh, some mods you can do on the special edition on, like, PS4 and Xbox. Uh, I would recommend Xbox if that's what you're, if you have a choice in the matter, just because you can get better mods on Xbox. Um, I don't know that from personal experience. I have a PlayStation, PS4. Fine. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Well, that's what I've been doing is pastimes, passion. Uh, when it comes to like, specifically Skyrim and uh, Fallout 3 and New Vegas. We must have more swords They're really the games I got into doing it the most as far as modding is concerned. And there are, there are resources out there um, that I use. So, I mean, first of all, I mean... You have to choose where you're going to get your mods from. You can get mods. Fallout 76. Um, no. Not a fan. Uh, watched a few playthroughs. Uh, and I couldn't even... I almost got into... Uh, what was it? No Man's Sky. I was super hyped for it. And... Yeah, I learned some skinning. Good. Um, and I was all for doing that, right? Like, I, I couldn't see what could go wrong. I didn't want to see it. Uh, my husband actually is the one who talked me out of actually just, hey, why don't we wait? So I was like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll wait. Really glad we did. I mean, now it's a lot better, but... I, someone who saw, you know, No Man's Sky and wanted to jump all over it, I saw the announcement for Fallout 76, I saw the news f coming up to it, yeah, and uh, I, I, even I didn't want anything to do with it, so, I, uh, I completely understand that, I couldn't, Fallout 76, the wrong, I think the wrong studio had it because you know, they had the uh, what was it, Zenimax? I was talking about cover and whatnot. Um, Zenimax Studios, who runs ESO, which is a fantastic online game, uh, play it you know, daily myself, just in my off time. Um, uh, they know what they're doing with that. They developed it. They did a really good job. And I am I feel so bad that they thought that they could just copy and paste Fallout 4 and turn it into an MMO. Uh, 
I don't know. I, I can only assume it's because they saw a game. They saw modders. This is my this is my assumption. This is my opinion. They saw. I mean, because you know what modders were doing. They were making, trying to make Fallout New Vegas. Fallout. Uh, I think they were trying to do Fallout Four. I know at least Fallout Three, as well. Skyrim multiplayer. People were making those kinds of mods to try to have more inclusive play, which is great. It's a great idea. Yeah, and there's no story. There's no NPCs. Why would you ever get a Bethesda game with no story? That's supposed to be the point. What would you have me do then? What's the meaning of this interruption? I'm angry. Uh, so yeah, it was just, I was blown away by that. I'm just like, I really don't think that that's a good idea. And so, yeah, no story, but I think they saw... So you what? Because they take from the community, the and uh, that's fine. Um, I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed but they up just did it so wrong. What do you say now from a modder's perspective, so trying to, to make something like walls? Skyrim or Fallout 4 or Fallout no. 3 or New Vegas a multiplayer once. game where it's a shared experience. You can go over here and do this quest, and you can go over there and do that quest. That's great. I think that's fine. Um, there's story there. There's things to be done. Uh, but just trying to throw Fallout 4, making it online, not having story, having all the bugs and glitches seemingly almost worse than what you would expect that from a fan-made well mod that allowed it, initiative. that broke the game you in just the right way to allow two people to play at the same time, is completely different. You would expect is much more from an do. actual developer, from a studio, to make a more solid game talents, than what God, Fallout 76 ended up being. Bar it's a, He's been looking into I don't know what they thought that they were doing. I think they were just like, hey, we can just, we can just copy paste. We can just copy paste this what and it would be great, it would be fine. And it just, you know, open it up, and make it so that way people can get logged in. No. No. Like you had no testing on that game whatsoever. There, what was it? Break it first, fix it later, or whatever. The, the, the their, their beta beta acronym that they were doing was ridiculous to the maximum. And I, I couldn't believe it. I'm just I saw this. I just knew to stay away. It's like smelling like you know a dead body somewhere. Just like, I don't want to go there. Naturally, just like gagging. Like, Ugh, this is so bad. Straight to the point, eh? And I Our couldn't believe it. I'm one. just like, I like that. the you same engine, the bed, creation right? engine. Sure, I, uh, they swap out tools on it and things like that, but no. A dragon stone. No, a you just don't burial. do that. It's a completely different ecosystem. Find this tablet, you know, a different environment. And, chamber, and they just did not... I, I'm wondering, there had to be someone. And in there, somewhere in whatever boardroom uh, that they were m making these decisions at, who was just like, this is a bad idea. And I want to know where they are. I want to know what they're doing. Because I'm interested in, you know, whoever has common sense. I was in the Navy for six years, and, you know, in the military, common sense does not always take precedence and so the fact that you know it's it's still it translates here you know in other you know areas of life and I'm just like this person's talking complete sense why don't you listen to them yeah, it throws me off how's Rhea looking yeah good I've got lots of mods on here so you know 
getting there. Not yet, though. Reading books. Okay. Uh, but yeah. These are like some of the best games. They have like the possibility of some of the best stories um, ever. And 76 just like they shot themselves in the foot. They let the wrong development team create the game. And I don't even think they've passed it off to Zenimax for for them to maintain it yet. I can't I don't know yet if they have. I assume that would be what they would be doing because Zenimax has experience with maintaining an online game, doing updates, scheduling things, I'd even making content. I assume that's where they were gonna go with it, at least. Um, don't know if they bother doing it at all though at this point. Cause they still, it's not a game. Over a year, it's not a game. It's, uh, it's a sad state of affairs is all it is. And um, did I bring my tent? Tell me I brought my tent. Good. Jeez. So, severely disappointed. It's going to be since Oblivion. It, it's the first uh, Bethesda game that I can think of that came from Bethesda. Uh that I have not bothered touching. I didn't buy it. And the news has been, you know, it's a dumpster fire, basically. So, it's not going to, ever, most likely. I mean, if you can make a comeback like No Man's Sky. Because No Man's Sky now is good. It's got its bugs. It's the way it should be now, as when, or it should be the way it is now when it was released. Now that my husband said that, and I agree with him wholeheartedly on it, that this is the way it should have been released, you know, however long ago it was. And, but, and it's because right now it's a game. It's, it's a playable game. It's got bugs that are going to be fixed. Fantastic. Um, Final Fantasy 15? Can't remember. It's the one, Realm Reborn. It's the MMO. Um, that one, when it first launched, similar situation. Evidently, it was a huge dumpster fire, and it was just terrible. And they took it down. They worked on it for a year, and they brought it back as a Realm Reborn. And it's a great game. It's fantastic. Um, I'd be playing that game right now if it wasn't for reasons. Uh, I'm not going to go into, obviously. But, you know, great game. They have took it back and they made the time. They worked on it. But, you know, are they going to do that with Fallout 76? They're try uh, BioWare's trying to do that with Anthem. Do I think they're going to succeed? It's not necessarily so. I'd like it to. I mean, for Fallout 76, I have no interest whatsoever in Anthem. If I want to play a game like that, I play Warframe. Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. Uh, I, I don't think they should have. It's it's another situation where it's like... It's... That, that one is, like, very... If you want to look at an example of, like, a terrible... I mean, you could love Anthem. If you like Anthem, you know, more power to you. But when I look at it from my perspective... Um... That is quintessentially what you should not do. You should not have a studio who has never made an MMO in their life take on making a triple A game MMO. Uh, should they be involved in it? Of course, my game died. Lovely. Eh, mods happens. Games happens. Um, Get right back into it. It is just one of those situations where I saw this and myself, my my husband, who is like one of the most ardent Bioware fans, we actually liked uh, Andromeda. 
it was a decent game. Uh, we never really encountered any of those big bugs that everyone, you know, the graphical glitches or anything like that. And we got it. We got. We got. It. We pre-ordered it. We played it ASAP. So there was no loss on us of that being, you know, a bad game. It was a good game. We liked that game. Um, was it like the defining, you know, RPG of our generation? No. No. But it was a good game. But, you know, they got, you know, really bad PR, which I remember there being a saying that there's no such thing as bad PR. Can I get you two? No, you're going to run. Kind of. I probably could have got her. Oh. Um, I remember that being a saying. You know, a million. You're going to sit there. I'm going to shoot you in the butt. Shot you in the butt. And two. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sweet. All right. Um, so, yeah. That was a decent game. It got bad, got bad PR. It was the laughing stock of the internet, but everyone was talking about it. It did really good on sales, despite you know them closing down that project. Andromeda made it on sales. They made a profit. They made a good profit, but because they didn't like the way it was being perceived, they didn't like the jokes and the memes. Uh, and all that they they shut it down they like they had built up a good story we were invested in it and there's this this whole because at the same time there was this whole like counterculture kind of feeling towards single player games um you know, single player games can't make money that was uh where everyone was going some of these big studios uh which God of War proved them wrong. Because that, that one made money. It was a damn good single player game. Tell you that for sure. Uh, let's see here. Let's build a campfire. Uh, but again, seriously? Survival mode? Survival moding uh, relation to what? Because I was on I was on a rant. I was rambling stuff off. My game died. And I'm not too sure what you're referring to. Um, I was just talking about Andromeda and how they they. They canned a lot of stuff uh, because they were saying that single player games weren't going to be making money. But then, like I said, you know, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Place it there. It should be fine. You know, I'm going to wait a second, let it load in, see if it's going to crash on me again. Uh, but Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, God of War, most recent one, obviously. Great games. Did everything right. Let me wait an hour. All right, let's try this again. Oh, survival mode. Up, oh, because I'm playing survival mode. Uh, so survival mode, it's it's not the creation club survival mode. Uh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So it's not that kind of survival mode. It's not the Creation Club. So I have a mod on called I Need. Uh, so, <laughs> so I have a mod called I Need. So this means I need food, water, and sleep. If I don't get those things, I die. I also have a mod on called Frostfall, which means I have exposure so to the elements so cold uh rain things like that gear has you can see down there at the bottom it has warmth and coverage ratings so different armor and clothing provide different values and those help combat against 
uh, the elements. So exposure, so death from it being too cold. Um, so those are the survival aspects. So these are cobbled together from those two mods where I have to eat, sleep, have water. Diseases are tougher. Um, I can't just go to a shrine and pray and get my disease taken away. I have to go to... Uh, I have to get a cure disease potion. Uh, or I think there's a spell in Divine uh, that can remove disease, but Odie's not getting... My, this character's not going to be getting that. Um, so that's why I mean... So that's why the tag is there for survival. There are survival aspects to this game. I have to eat, sleep, drink... I have to contend with the weather, so cold, exposure, so. Yeah, that's not going to be on PS4. Uh, so the problem with PS4 mods is you they don't allow the addition of scripts. Um, I think there was a very pared down, pared down version of I Need that was on there for a short period of time. But I don't even think that's there anymore, honestly, um, if at all, uh, in the first place. Because I've only played Skyrim. I played Skyrim. I bought Skyrim originally. And then I got the special edition when it came out. Uh, I think I got that for free, actually, which is really cool that they did that. Um, let's go harvest wood. No, I have wood. I just need to actually build the fire. Uh, so, yeah, you're not going to be able to get these kinds of mods on uh put that there on your ps4 unfortunately uh if you got an xbox 360 or an xbox one not xbox 360 if you had an xbox one uh you may be able to did i not i didn't actually go cut firewood okay well let me just go and gather some no i'm on my pc right now you can get some of these mods on Xbox One because uh, Microsoft and Xbox, they allowed uh, for that to have scripts to be able to change the code of the game and be able to introduce outside resources. Uh, Sony, and this was the thing with uh, Fallout 4 as well, is Sony said, we're not going to let you do that. You have to use what's already in the game. Uh, yeah, I just use an Xbox controller. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, Say so yeah, you you do unfortunately you'd have to be on like an Xbox One or a uh, PC to get these kinds of mods. Which you know, it's Sony is very protective of what they have. There we go. So that's that's the main reason that they don't allow certain things like that. So sorry about that. Sorry if it was misleading because I use I use an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, so sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, let's get a few hours in there. It's still daylight. Uh, but yeah, uh, I use lots of mods. <laughs> Uh, thanks uh, for coming in, whoever just popped in. Uh, appreciate you coming by. Let's see here. Uh, fire went out. Uh, do I have any more? I don't use an Xbox One controller. I use a I use a just a standard cabled Xbox 360 controller, uh, just right into my PC. I wouldn't mind getting an Xbox One controller. Uh, I hear they're pretty nice. Get 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 away, get away from the fire. Okay, uh, but unfortunately, I, I don't have one of those. I've been using this for like 12 years, so I just, like for whatever reason just have no desire to actually like get a new one. But you know, we'll see about that maybe in the future. Because I've seen uh, I watch, uh, yeah, I learn stuff. Yeah, I'm butchering these animals instead of just looting them. Different mod uh, that gives more um, depth to... And see, I can see moderate hunger there. So I'm going to get penalties right now. Uh, and then if I, if I fail to feed myself, I will eventually die. 
so and a lot of my food starting to go bad so uh, let's let's overfeed a little bit ah, darn it contracted stomach rot yeah so another part of it is now I accidentally got a disease so stomach rot it's uh I guess it's either probably diarrhea or something like that. Um, so because I was eating food that was not a high quality. So you can see this one right here on the venison. It's got that percentage right there. So I was eating something that was at like 63%, uh, which means that's it's freshness. It's how fresh it is. And because of that, it... Uh, I got a disease and now my food's not going to be quite as helpful which means I'm going to need to eat more to get the same uh, level of sustenance which is aggravating okay I got a ruined pelt out of that so this is a hunter mod it's called hunter born and yeah it adds uh, a lot of depth to uh, the game as far as uh, the wildlife how you interact with it um, instead of you just going and killing a wolf or an elk or a troll or a dragon even and uh, just picking the stuff out of it and then being like okay hey I got this stuff yay stuff you actually have to uh, properly prepare it so you gut it that's you when you're, you're cleaning the animal uh, and then once you clean the animal, then you can start harvesting parts of it. So you first you uh, first you skin it, and then you can get parts out of it, like bones, other vital organs that are going to be useful either for crafting purposes or alchemy purposes. And then you can harvest uh, meat from the animal. So and bones. So there's all kinds of like little. Uh, things I can make with this mod as well. And actually, I can make a couple of these that I want to right now. And they're not, these are not high powered things. These are, this is more for immersion into the life of a hunter. So, yeah, you, know, you, you take from the animal and you move forward with it, uh, knowing how to prepare and clean these cash marker this is gonna be really useful so I'm gonna set up this is kind of, this is really cool because what this is gonna allow me to do is I'm gonna drop that and I'm gonna crouch and interact with it that makes this little rock what this is so this little rock is a safe container so it's a container I can go in here and I can go ahead and say okay I don't want to carry around all this wood uh, or these bones or these pelts I've I've been cleaning up and using I'm going to throw them in this rock <laughs> which is a cache so it's like it's like a bag under a rock but it's marked so I know what it is uh, I'm going to drop some of this extra food down because it's just heavy and it's going to go bad in my pocket mark that and I don't have a necklace I'm not going to wear that because it's too bright out uh, so now I have a legitimate camp so I'm right outside of town if I want to go use its services and the camping mod I have, which is part of Frostfall, uh, I can't camp over in the city. I have to camp outside the city and pretty far away. I think if I get too much closer than this little pond, it wouldn't let me actually place my camping spot. So I have a place I can sleep. I've got a campfire where I can cook things. I can do cook basic cooking. If I go, and I can either make or buy a cooking pot and I can set it up here. And I can get more recipes because uh, I actually have a cooking pot. I've got this little cache where I can store things at. So I have effectively my camp where he can stay and live. And I could put several of these out here if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, once I decide that I actually want to make a big move, maybe like if I want to go to Fall Creek or Riften or something like that, I'm going to set this up again there after I break this down. So that way, Odie, character I'm playing, has his safe place. But it's as safe as, you know, leaving all your stuff out in the open, but, you know, safe. Um, and from here is where he's going to move out, and he's going to do what he does. And he's hungry again. 
Seriously? No, it's it's getting there. And uh, so yeah, everything is a little bit different as far as the survival aspects of the game is concerned. Diseases work a little bit differently. They can wear off in time, um, but I think that's actually also in the base game too. I need to kill whatever this is. So I have a mod and doctors. What are you even? You a rat? Maybe a little spider. I'll see you in a second. Oh, it's a little spider. Okay. So you may be asking yourself, why was there a book in that spider? That's a good question. And the answer is interesting. Uh, so <laughs> so I, I have a mod on called Imperious Races. Um, and it changes how uh, racial stats work. So, you know, not the stats, not like the numbers as far as like, oh, I get bonus to archery and stealth or light armor, or, you know, this, that, and the other. As Odie being a wood elf, um, he gets a bird that follows him around. Ow, what the heck? Oh, darn it. These things sometimes get a little bit upset at me. And they can hurt. I've gotten killed by one of these before. Sweet genius. Let's love that. <laughs> um, so, instead of... Uh, I'm trying to think what, what else got in vanilla. It's literally been years, if not almost a decade, since I played vanilla. No, the game's not that old. Is it that old? It may be that old. Um... Anyways, sidetracking. Uh, let's go smithing. So, instead of whatever they used to get, which I think I think they could call an animal familiar. Ooh. Um, what time is it? That's pretty late. All right, I'm gonna park this thing over here. Hope nothing eats it. And I'm going to come back for it. But instead of just getting, you know, your basic stat bonuses and, you know, maybe a little thing like, uh, what was it? Uh, was that even vanilla? Darn. I honestly can't remember what the vanilla races were like before. Like what bonuses they got. Like, all right, so I'll just tell you what I get. So as a wood elf, Odie... Uh, gets that little hawk. Now that does two things. One, every so often it marks an animal. If I go kill that animal, it's going to have some special loot. Like maybe a necklace uh, or that spider head book. Unfortunately, you can't tell the difference between a tiny spider and, you know, an elk. It just can't. Um, yeah, there's movement up there. Uh, so that's why it grabbed a tiny spider but that's part of a side quest for my race and when I complete that uh, as a wood elf I can call an animal to my aid a predator animal and it will come and help me for as long as I want to keep it and it will be an animal conducive to the area that I'm at so if I'm, ooh, gotcha. If I'm in this area, good chances I'm gonna get a wolf. If I'm up in the mountains near Markarth, I'm probably gonna get a mountain lion. Uh, if I'm out over in Riften, because Riften has a lot of cave structures and stuff like that, can I? Okay, I got the carry capacity for this thing. Um, I'll probably get a bear. And they level up minorly. Like, they'll get uh, health bonuses and whatnot. Where's the other animal? Hold on. Uh, no, 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 no. That's over there. Alright, good. Not overburned yet. So, 
that's what that mod does. It, it allows to have allows you to have more depth in your race. So as a wood elf, I can also eat sentient beings, man, mer, uh, and gain sustenance from them. Uh, if I want to, I don't have to. It's a completely optional thing. Um, I don't have to do it, but if you look into the lore, it's actually very lore friendly. That is something what elves Bosmer do, is they would commonly eat their enemies, whether it was a warring tribe, uh, so more wood elves, or whenever they were campaigning against you know someone who intruded on their land or uh, someone they saw as a threat. Uh, yeah, they would eat them uh, because that's part of the green pack, the green pack that the wood elves have with. Uh, as far as they're concerned, Nern, is that they don't eat of the field. They don't eat corn. They don't eat, you know, cabbage, things like that. They only eat meat if they stay true to the Green Pact. Um, so the author of that mod wanted to kind of say, hey, if you actually want to roleplay this, you're going to get a bonus out of it. So uh, as a wood elf, Odie, the character I'm playing, can do that. And does get a bonus. They get uh, stat bonuses, so health, stamina, magicka. They get 10% of whatever enemy they ate for a duration. I think it's like something like maybe like 120 in-game minutes, uh, something like that. This, this thing's gonna weigh like 400 pounds, isn't it? Yeah. Um, 200 pounds. I'm going to be slow either way. I'm just working my way back to camp right now and expounding on my mods. Um, but there's things like that for every race. Some of them are harder to do than others. Uh, the orc, they get... Uh, so they have an ability that when they jump, they send a seismic tremor in the ground and nearby, really nearby enemies... Uh, we'll get knocked to the ground. Okay, cool. Um, somewhat useful. I think you can use it like once per fight. Uh, but if they do that, I think it takes like 10 times where they knock down three or more enemies at one time. So you're surrounded by at least three enemies. You do the jump, they get knocked down. Uh, that counts towards their racial quest. And whenever they finish it, they get like a really cool, I think it's an activated berserking ability. And it's like no joke, but it's hard to get because you have to do that. You have to survive the fight and then you have to do that 10 times. That's a lot. Um, don't know if you watched my previous video or not, or if you were here earlier. Standing stones are different. Uh, I can't even begin to get into how they're different because there's so much. They've just been tweaked. They're not just like, oh, here's some more magicka. Here's some more stamina. It's, you know, here's the experience bonus of being a, having the warrior stone, but also your power attacks do 15% more damage, and your range attacks, depending upon your distance, the further away, the more bonus you get, will also get 15% more. And I think that's supposed to kind of help incentivize archers like stealth archers to actually take the warrior stone because when you think about it okay if i'm a stealth archer you know would i really take the warrior stone if i wanted experience or would i take the thief stone so that way i get the experience for my stealth and my alchemy since this character is about long distance sniping and taking out enemies quickly i went with the warrior stone just because that's also what i came by first um obviously and so I get the bonus damage I like the bonus damage it's nice um, but there's like huge it's uh, called or I think it's called no it's not Aurora that was the old mod you had a different one look up and if you want to look into this at all go on to Nexus so it's the Nexus website where they have mods all right so do do a search for like uh, Skyrim SE, so Special Edition Nexus. Do that search, and then do a search for Imperious Races. Uh, the mod author for that does 
the there's uh does you know the game changing mods for Skyrim the ones that add the most uh alteration to the game it's Andromeda thank you uh and it is it's it's those are the best mods if you're going to be playing for Skyrim and you don't and you want something new um if you like vanilla, sure. Stick with it. It's what makes you happy. That's what matters. But if you want to try something new, if you have the ability to, yes, go ahead and, you know, give it a shot. It's worth it. Um, i make a big fire. Because it makes it a new game. Not like, you know, like it's a new story. Not like that. But, you know, it, it makes how you build your characters, how you think about, like, what am I going to have my characters do just that much different. Mm, wrong buttons. I uh, still got rot. Let's, let's take a nap. Didn't get where I was wanting to go just yet. I'm trying to make my way to a shrine to uh, Jeffrey. It sounds weird, but uh, when you think about it, if you read the lore, there are several gods other than the nine or eight, depending upon your views. Um, and that is, uh, Jeffrey is one of the ones for Wood Elves, or the Bosmer, if you want to be more politically correct. And so, he does a lot of different things, and he's the deity that uh, Odie worships the most. Hey, I learned from my experience, yes. Probably really hungry at this point. I'm moderate hunger. Ah. All right, so here's some exposure. Health, magic, and stamina regeneration have gone down. So I've been out in the open. My fire had died. I wasn't paying attention. Um, and I've been out here for a while skinning and cleaning those animals. So because of that, it uh, did affect... Uh, my exposure because I've been out here for hours working on that and the game takes that into account and so uh, it's 14% I can't eat that I'll go sell it someone someone's gonna like that aged meat right I need to go fill up on water anyways. Let me take that with me. I'll go skin it. Or actually, I'll, I'll go work the leather. I'll get out of third person. Hopefully I'll be able to ugh, shortly get out of this armor, get into something a little bit more respectable. some ruined pelts which I could turn into straps at least
I've got some different armors here, and that's because I do have the mod uh, Beyond Skyrim Bruma. Uh, I first got exposed to the Elder Scrolls via uh, Oblivion. So. Actually, make the can't make the chest piece, and so whenever I heard about this mod a while back, I was really into it. Uh, I know it's just a teaser mod because it's the mod that's supposed to be there is uh, Cyrodiil Beyond Skyrim. Cyrodiil is the actual mod, and uh, you know they just haven't finished making it. I need two more pieces of leather. Well. Keep working on that. In the meantime, I've got some junk and I need some water. Hey, I'd even buy one. Oh, a bit of this. Just a survey. Don't try to buy my family. Were you trying to sell me your relatives? I can't remember. Either way. Gross. Yeah, you can have that. Alright, I had cooked beef that was going bad. Here, you can have that, right? That's okay, meat, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Do come back. Alright, oh. Excuse me. Crazy lady. All right. Back out again. I'm going to try to make it to that shrine. Ah! Stupid gate. And, uh... From there, we'll see what we can do. Hey, you guys get away from here. Ah. I guess that's one problem camping out here. You gotta. Now, I wouldn't say worry, but, you know, they're jerks. I'm not gonna leave my wood axe. Every time I look at, like. Cause I, I like keeping my inventory fairly light. But, uh, I mean, just recently I almost, I didn't die or anything, it was anything like that, but, you know, my level of exposure was of concern. Like, if I get rid of my axe, I have to harvest for branches, then I have to make a really crappy axe, and with that really crappy axe, I then have to go and harvest dead wood, um, to make a fire to hopefully survive. That is a long process. It is not. I'm on my way to solitude to join the legion. Um, especially if I'm in a life or death situation at that point, it's not a place I want to be. So, not gonna do it. Let's head up here. I need to keep some things for You're looking a little rough around the edges. You feeling all right? No, I'm not actually, but I can't remember. You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra and we the will mercy hunt you down. Yes. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. They are profane creatures with no hope of redemption. They lure innocents to their deaths and corrupt the souls of all they touch. And their heretical artifacts grant powers to mortals that wreak havoc across Tamriel. They must be destroyed or guarded to prevent temptation. Okay. None escape the vigil. All come into the light. I was hoping they were yes. going to be able to heal me. I I seem to recall that there was that 
they did have the ability to. It may have been from a mod I had at one point that I don't anymore. Um, it's the problem with modding is you sometimes forget like, oh, this game, I think I should be able to do this. Maybe. All right. So I do have to be careful. There's a giant there who's evidently accepting a cow. And I want to go over here. But I've got to be careful because there are mountain lions. Speak of the devil. Let's see. Too high. Too low. Oh, maybe I'm... Am I undershooting every time? What's going on here? Am I hitting something? I'm going to walk over there. I'm going to see like all my arrows like stuck into the side of that tree. Oh, there's like a rock or something that's not loading in. I got all the iron arrows I need. And I got a bunch of steel ones on reserve. Oh, got you that time. Oh, no, go over there. Let's go over there. Look over there. Okay, it's running. So I have a mod called Sky Test. Uh, I don't know why it's called Sky Test actually. But what it does is it adds realistic. Ooh, got it. It adds realistic behavior to animals and creatures. Up, up, do something. So, the saber cat. Pray to Jeff. This is Jeffrey Shrine. Um, the saber cat would have attacked me. Would have kicked my butt. Can I pick you up? I can, but you are heavy. 400 pounds heavy. Yeah, okay. Um, cancel that. Just drag it along. Somewhere safe. Um, so the saber cat would have attacked me. If I had gotten closer, or if I had not done as much damage as I did, because I got it with a sneak attack, which, you know, double damage. And then, um, and then I got a regular shot in right after it, but I was a good deal a distance away, so it was probably getting some bonus damage from my actual, uh, uh, warrior stone. And because of that, it gotten hurt so bad, it realized that it wasn't going to win this fight. Ugh. It was too much trouble, uh, you know, territory or what have you. It wasn't worth the time and uh, the effort to possibly get killed. Hey, my stomach rot went away. Nice. And so because of that, uh, it ran, as it should. I'm wearing a necklace right now that gives me a uh, night eye. It is from that Hunterborn mod. It's one of the trinkets you can craft. We can look upstairs. We can see some night sky. It's real pretty. It's much darker on my screen than it is the capture screen, so I'm going to have to, if I'm going to navigate, use my necklace. So yeah, I actually got myself a D 
decent. Did I get a pelt there? Did I get a good pelt? I'm hoping. I got a saber cat pelt. I may be able to make a backpack out of that. Hey, welcome to the chat and the stream. I'm Gamer John. You can call me John. Playing some Skyrim. I got some survival stuff going on. And I got a wolf who's probably not going to attack. He's alone. And because of that, once I get up close, well, I'm a hunter, so, and I'm, I missed. There we go, got him. All right. Now he's probably going to be light enough. I'm not going to field dress it right here. I'm going to take it with me because it's only 80 pounds. It's pretty light for a wolf, I think, but I didn't make the mod. I'm going to take him back to my camp and I'm going to clean him and skin him there. Just, you know, for my own safety. Oh, my crap. Die, potato. And yeah, it's your little mud crab. I'm gonna hook you on the side of my belt by your claw and I'm gonna walk you home. So yeah, this is kind of just what Odie does. Wow, that, that necklace really brightens everything up, doesn't it? Let's take it off. It's very, very dark. As it should be, it's the middle of night. This torch provides almost nothing. It's because my lighting mod. I don't like the fact that, you know, you can walk around in the middle of the night and be fine. Just be like, oh yeah, no, it's just as good as daylight. That doesn't make any sense. Same thing for when you're in a cave. Which evidently the Draugr are just running around lighting candles. Because. What do we got there? A little beacon in the night. I missed it. It's probably like a rabbit or something. What, what are you? Another spider. Jeez, and the alarm spell again. What has this bird got against spiders? Uh, if I'm lucky, there may be a couple more elk by my camp. I may be able to pick off one or two of them. That's convenient. Because then I can just keep them there and skin them in the morning. Feeling comfortable, that's not good. <laughs> that means I was more than comfortable, I was probably warm. And loose. And loose. And loose. And loose. Nice. Oh, one more. Alright. I'm not laying down feed for these animals, I swear. Um, they evidently just have a death wish. Uh, what time is it? Oh, 12 a.m. I only need a couple hours sleep, probably, so... get four hours in. We'll go from there. <clears throat> Alright, should have some. I got some dead wood. I'll have to chop some more. Mild hunger. Okay, let me let me deal with that first. Raw saber cat. Uh, let's eat the wolf. Alright, so let's go harvesting for wood. And this harvesting for wood and uh, creating the campfires and everything, that 
increases a skill that's in the background uh, used for the camping and the Frostfall mod, so... There we go. Let's make a roaring fire. And let's cook up that saber cat. I do hate that it always goes back into third person. Not third person fan. I'll pull back out and take a look at my character and be like, yeah, cool. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm alright. Alright, let's see here. I've got a few animals here that need tending to, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, got a poor wolf pelt. And we're gonna harvest everything from these animals. We leave nothing. Because that's wasteful. This is probably gonna take up my entire day. I got three elk here, got a wolf and a mud crab. <clears throat> there it seems like I'm getting hungry again. We are now at 1 p.m. I woke up at 4 a.m. So, how legitimate is that? Couldn't tell you. Never have, you know, cleaned an animal before, you know, other than a fish. Which, that was pretty easy. I mean, slice it up, pull out the guts. Chop off the head. Unless you're making fish head soup. Anyways. So, as far as how realistic this is, hey, I learned some experience. That's good. A poor deer hide. Well, at least it's not ruined. Completely failed at my attempt to harvest any bones and organs. I get nothing. I need a better knife. I can't make a better knife yet. That was the problem. I have to increase my smithing. Which means I need to harvest materials so that way I can do that. Whoops, fire went out. I'll go actually cut some firewood because I'm going to go into town. Not trying to get into my cache. Where now? Farkas, oh no. Come to your basker and be a companion. That's not the Farkas I remember. <laughs> I usually have a mod on for him, but you wanna it's... hear a little Nord wisdom? You don't really know of them. It's uh it's one that's from Old Rim as it's called, so pretty you know, not Skyrim special edition. Um Okay, I wanna keep the saber cat pelt because I think I can make a backpack. Alright, can't I? I need eight leather strips. And then, yes, I can. So let me make some leather strips. Um, oh. Oh! Whoops. <laughs> Anyways, I don't care. I got a backpack now. And my smithing increased. I'm not gonna break down my water skin. So now we got ourselves a backpack. This backpack's really cool because it's going to show things when I do go into third person. So we can see that's my fire axe. Or what axe? See a uh, torch and my water skin. And uh, when I have my tent on me, it'll be down there at the bottom. But I have my tent set up, so it's not gonna be there. 
think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Not yet. Okay. Got that one. That's not till 30. So yeah, I'm just going to have to keep plugging along. Let's go up here. Do I have anything actually worth selling? Um, not really. Oh, well, back out. It's slow going because I am, I'm trying to do this, Odie is trying to do this as a self-sufficient manner, as in he is trying to build and make everything himself as much as possible. Right now he's using, no, don't run, let me shoot you. Uh, a lot of this stuff is all, the, who would call it borrowed. Uh, gear or what have you because that's what it is it's borrowed it's not his this is this is his backpack this is his necklace uh, the rest of this is not his he didn't make this this is borrowed and he is going to subsequently probably destroy or sell it <laughs> whenever he makes his own stuff so that's how he is um, I need to cook that up that's a problem because I didn't cut any firewood like I was going to. Alright. Hey, welcome to the stream. I'm Gamer John. You can call me John. And we're mildly hungry. I got my axe on me though, so I can go cut some wood. Let's go chop some dead wood. Mm, I haven't prayed in a while. Got to do that. Pray to Jeff. Jeffrey, specifically. Let's see. I uh, should be, yeah. Catch a spark. There we go. Man, I got a camping park available. Let's cook up this elk steak. Alright. And I got a skill, it said. So, can I get in the first person, please? Oh, I've got two. I have not been doing this. I was supposed to. Uh, just because I want to work my way up? Sure. Do I have... This yet? No. Of course, I'm, I'm down here in Whiterun, which is a fairly temperate climate. So, not surprised I haven't gotten anything here yet. Let's drop a quick save. Fire leaves me feeling uplifted. Okay. So we've gone and we've prayed to Jaffrey at his shrine. Now it is time for Odie to start spreading out. Typically what he likes to do is he likes to go through, he he's set up his camping place. So this is his camping place. Now, before he was off in the middle of the woods, nowhere, south of Helgen. That was it. Wow, that makes everything so bright. It's almost too bright, honestly. Just because, uh, the vanilla night eye that I typically that typically comes to the game. When you use other mods to affect the brightness, it gets it down to such a point where it's like pointless almost. Oh, it's just super bright. Um, Oh, there's an Aurora Borealis going on. That's probably helping out. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for uh, popping in the stream. I'm Gamer John, by the way. But you can call me John. All right, I see a couple mud crabs down there. Let's see if I can pick them off in the dark. 
I am missed. There, I got that one. I got that one. Good. Happy to hear. Playing uh, Odie here. Odie's my wood elf hunter. I'll clean up these guys later. Playing with a bunch of different like survival and uh, immersion mods, so it's kind of. Now there was a camp just north of here. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's see, was it? Uh, let's see. Aki, Aki de Bro, one, two, three, four. I'm assuming. Probably mispronounced that horribly. I apologize. Let's see if my instincts will get me anything. No, uh, maybe something off over there. It's really dark. It's gonna be really dangerous. It's for you. For you it's. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's see, for me, it is almost pitch black. I know on the, because I can see on the capture there, it's a lot brighter in comparison. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even see this guy just show up all of a sudden. Are they there? Yeah! <gasps> Stop it. Ah! Here we go. Oh, I'm in. It's really dark. <laughs> yeah, I do use a lighting mod. How am I doing? Um, here. I got a necklace of low light vision, but then it's like almost practically daylight. So, ouch, stop it. Yeah, that sucked. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's swing back around here to archery. Let's just do more damage. Okay. I see you there. Whew. Archery combat! Who Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Who could shuffle the best? Oh, gotcha. In the face. Are you seriously running right at me? Okay. There we go, there we go. Um, unfortunately, no. I only have uh, one moderator. Uh, he's already set up. Thanks for volunteering, though. Uh, but I'm. Uh, ooh, that's really bright. Stop that. This guy's gonna kill me. He's definitely trying. Yeah, shoot him in the gut. Yeah, no. Uh, we're going through here now. This is a local ruin. Yeah, no, no problem. Never hurts to ask, but like I said, yeah, I do have a moderator already. Antique steel sword, gold earrings. That talks about how to make this lunar weapon. Looks actually fairly valuable. Uh, sell it, sure. And a couple ingots. Very nice. Alright, moving around. So yeah, this is kind of what Odie does. Is he uh, he set up his camp over there near White Run, so he's 
now he's kind of branching out. He wants to know the area as much as possible. And, yep, that's my... Did, did I break these little guys? Are they on the ground? They're on the ground. That happens. So now he's spreading out. And he's trying to identify, like, all the, you know, areas of note. So, you know, things that, you know, could either be used as shelter or landmarks, places where he could store things. Oh, snow coke. Gimme. Uh, and also, of course, he knows there are bandits. They happen. And so he deals with them. I mean, there's a small group of bandits that moved in uh, south of Helgen, but Odie was on his way out before they really came over, so. Let's go ahead and pop in. Yeah, sure. Hey, take it easy. Pop in, pop out. It's all good. Oh, what is that jank mess? That, okay. It's on film, everyone saw that. No. No. Alright, now that, that was luck. As she turned, the arrow went through the crook of her arm and out the other end. That's fine, I guess. But that first guy, that asshole, just shifting <laughs> off to the side. That's bull. Quote me all day long on that one. That was baloney. Some good stuff in here. Odie does consider the stuff that he finds on people he kills his. He earned that. He killed that person. That is his. He's not going to use most of anything he picks up off of people, though. He, uh doesn't like to. It's not, you know, it's not his. He didn't make it, or what have you. So. And a barrel with potatoes. Ew. Potatoes. I gotta level up again. Jeez. Oh, no, that was my lockpicking. picking's about to level up. Because I'm all of a sudden level 22. Yeah, right. Okay. Anyone in here? Seriously? Makes things easier, doesn't it? Doop, doop, doop. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Uh, Troll fat. Slaughterfish. A basket. Oh, he's got his very own basket. He hates it. There we go. Huh. Random thought. Typically in past games, I have him make uh, para uh, paralysis and uh, damaging, health damaging potions. Poisons. Potions would be a terrible idea. Um. Trying to stay true to the green pact as much as I can. Which means this alcohol's gotta go too, because that's made out of grapes and or wheat. It could be honey. I can I, okay, so he can he could use the mead. I'm mainly concerned about recipes because cooking with the mods I have, 
there are some recipes that involve alcohol as a cooking component. Gotcha. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna try to steer pretty hardcore towards the green pact in that respect. I'm gonna have him respect the green pack as much as possible. So I'm not gonna be able to do what I normally do for poisons, which is uh, imp stool and human flesh, uh, because well, imp stool is something that grows it's not part of the green pact as far as i'm aware i'll double check that uh, but i know other things like wheat fruit um, things like that you're not supposed to eat that they use it obviously they can grow i mean they're i think their city in uh hmm, can't remember the name of it uh it's actually the main hall is uh in their homes they make out trees they may be living trees. No, don't run. But, uh... Ah, my jerk. And we beat it. Come on. <coughs> Lovely. Uh, da, da, da. I have Deadwood on me. I didn't bother dropping that off. Uh, carcasses there. A random wood plate. Burn the wood plate? Make all kinds of sense, wouldn't it? Uh, well, let's see here. Let me grab... Uh, Alright, I can keep bone meal. And keep, I can keep butterfly wings. And human flesh. And control fat. Um, yep, that's mine. Alright, yep, still gotta get rid of. And the mountain flowers I gotta get rid of. And the thistle, the wheat. I can keep the mead. This mead's made from honey. Oh, hey, welcome to the stream, everybody. Sorry. Going through my inventory right now, so I get kind of zoned in. We drop off this. Keep that. Keep that. Keep those. And that. Can't keep that. Alright, I gotta get rid of all of this. Stuff I've been picking up. Got a couple carcasses. Drop off this guy and that guy. How are we doing on our needs? I am mildly hungry. And I put all my food into my cache. Uh, just grab a couple of these. Chow down. It says I feel well sated, but... Alright, there we go. Just take a second. I'm not tired yet, so let's go ahead and start cleaning these guys out. You guys have any questions about the stream it's pretty basic i use mods i'm on a pc even though i use a controller because i don't know i'm old or something i think that's the excuse that most people think that we have i just like playing with the controller i do have a keyboard over here for keyboard commands if i need it but typically mm -hmm. don't uh like i said play with a lot of mods uh let's see here it is mainly a survival game it's dark as hell uh, I need, so I gotta eat, drink, sleep, uh, camping, and frostfall, so I got to worry about exposure and whatnot, so. Give them a good eight hours. But yeah, and I'm playing Odie here, who is a hunter. That's all he does, that's his thing. And he's getting wrapped up in this. Craziness with dragons. I had my cats here earlier. I had Diamond. And Winifred. Winifred was being all noisy. She wanted to be star of the show. She wanted to bother my husband to the point where he had to run away. Made me 
this out. <laughs> Open. Open says me. Alright, let's see here. Do I even have any skins? I'm a terrible hunter. I do have stuff to sell. Can I? I mean, no? I can't break down. They have to have decent leather on them, right? Alright, well, I can break down some of their stuff if I wanted to. I want the steel. Because, you know, I can make arrows. Got sell some everything good else. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Alright, got some iron daggers. Need to keep my hunting knife. Yeah, you guys can have that, I don't care. Not my bag, yo. Alright. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you sure I got other stuff I need to sell. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go over here to this guy because he buys pretty much everything. I'm here to buy. Where's he at? You're not supposed to be here. Oh well, your door's unlocked. That's not my fault, <laughs> you jerk. I know what I'll do. Go to the court wizard. He'll want the staff, right? Pretty Jeff. You get out the way. Thought you were already on your way. Hmm. Yeah, when I feel like I it. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Buy my books, you nerd. All right, hold on. You run out of money. Get the familiar and the cat totem. Can't use the cat totem. It's gonna cost too much magicka, but we'll see. Summoning the spirits of animals is something I think is up a Bosmer's alley. Muffle? Nah. That's skill, yo. All right, and now you can buy my staff. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The yard. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. Yeah, 142. I can't even cast that. I'll cast this though. Patient man. Neither am I. Brigands, I can handle. But this talk of dragons? World's gone mad. Alright, two seconds. A cup of water, real quick.
You guys heard everything, didn't you? Me blowing my nose, getting water, talking to my husband, maybe, maybe. All right. And away we go. Yeah, we'll probably just stream to the three hour mark and be done for today. What the hecky heck was I doing? Oh yeah, more hunting. myself cloak though. It's really cool. And I'm running, I'm running, I'm running over here. Fortunately, they haven't been able to make a mod that I've been able to find um, that actually will do things like um, depopulation. So, what I mean by that is if I'm here in this White Run area, I've been hunting here for like the past few days. I totally missed his face. Alright, fine. Um, I ain't cut wood again. Darn it. Every time. I'm like, oh, I'll go cut wood. I bet you I was thinking about it, too. But I always like the idea that could I possibly hunt this area out to the point where... I mean, I would like a message to come up. It'd be really cool. I mean, I have this... Yes. I have this mod that helps me... You know, get more into the hunting, gives me more out of it as far as, uh, you know, because I have to get blood on my screen, evidently. You know, I have to decide, you know, because I can't just reach in and take what I want out of the animal. I have to properly clean it and skin it. I have to have the right tools. I got to take the time. Because now it's 11 in the afternoon, and uh, I mean, it, it took. That was at least a couple of hours for me to, f you know, fully clean that animal. And, um... Let me quick save like I was thinking about doing. Because I'll forget. And then something will happen. Like, but I was always... What was it? RuneScape? I think it was RuneScape. They had actually programmed this cycle... Uh, for animals... And, like, you know, you had, like, the basic, you had the rabbit that would run around and it would sometimes, it would eat uh, specific plants. And so if you over-harvest the plants, then, you know, the rabbit wouldn't have any food and it would die. What am I, what are you doing? Stop it. Uh, I'll just pick you up for now, you're small enough. And I think what ended up happening is, funnily enough, the players in that game... They started uh, just in mass killing every rabbit because the game designers thought they would never just run around killing rabbits. They grossly <laughs> underestimated the ability for gamers to do cruel and unusual things, mostly the unusual part. Um, because that destroyed their ecosystem. Alright, we summon that again, because the other one's gonna die soonish. There's usually wolves in this area, I thought. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, that would be really cool in this game. You bobbed when you should have weaved. And now you shall die. You, 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 you shall die. Get out of here. Hey, now, again? Seriously? Get out of here. That crap.
Aha. Am I good or am I good? So my beast again, just in case something says they want to come out and jump at me. There's a mean, nasty elk. Get out of here, elk. Ooh, that's nice. I want that. There was a wolf running around. I don't know where it went. But yeah, I, uh, the entire point of that conversation was that it would be nice in this game, obviously with mods, uh, it would be required, where I could get notifications. Like, as a hunter, I would know that I am over hunting in this area, and I'm going to start depopulating this one species, and that's a bad thing. It is a bad thing. Um, so then I would know to stop. Maybe it takes a certain number of in-game days because we have to work on that function. I don't want it to be so real. I have to wait like a year in-game for that or two for the animal aminal <laughs> aminal. I can't talk now. I started saying it wrong, and I'm gonna keep saying it wrong, evidently. Animal population to uh, reestablish itself. I don't want to do that, but um, let's drop that. Let's do that because I, I had I picked up a bunch of stuff that I was going to get rid of because it does not follow the green pack to use. So there we go. Back to nature. Hey, welcome to the stream. I'm Gamer John. You can call me John. Yeah, let's go in here and figure this. Oh, so he still doesn't see me. Let's see here. I see you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Take that, thank you. Mead. He can use mead, though. Green packed or no, because mead is made from honey. So, honey is part of an animal. That counts. That's fine. Alright, I got a look. Um, let's go stamina again. And I think I've doubled up there. Okay. Let's go sneak. Everyone's favorite stealth archer, right? All right, I think I'm going to get the I want to get this first. Oh gosh, you were big. Yeah, here. Just gonna keep slowly backing away. Whew. Okay. Steel. Like that. That breaks down nicely. I mean, I'm gonna pick up as much as I can. Alright, I think everything is dead. Alright, let's see here. I, I didn't want that. Mead, yes. Why, no. Wine's made from grapes or wheat. I need to drop that. Other stuff I've been finding. Picking up. Alright, what you got? Poacher's axe. Alright, let's do that. Steel. What you got? Yeah, snout. I don't want that snout. Take these tusks, though. 
key. To what? I don't know. That's a bag of money. Gimme. Nope, too far, too far. A little results with that lockpick. I don't want that magic potion. I mean, I could take it, but I don't want it. Okay, leather boots. Nice. Odie didn't make them, though, so... God darn you, wine. Get down here. Let's see here. Some semi... useful books. Sometimes these will... Reveal areas out in the wild. Points of interest, basically. So it's not a bad idea to thumb through them just for a quick second. Mead. Okay, we can use mead. It's important because I am trying to have him stick to the green pack, which means no plants, which means no grapes, which means no wine, no wheat, no beer, no barleys, and things like that. And have mead. It's going to be used in our cooking. Steel War pick, take that. I don't want the snow. I don't like it. It's Odie's least favorite meal. Mammoth snout. It's always so mucusy. Alright. Let's go back to this. Hear the cry of a bird. Over there. The hecky heck? No, you again. Stop it. Oh, <laughs> Crab taking swipes at my bird, like, stop it, stop it, lean right to me, knock it off. I am missing. I can't hit him. Crab, ten feet away. So pick you up. Deal with you guys later. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Ah, it's an elk that's running right at me. Or a deer, actually. There's a deer. Reindeer. Sniffing at my rock. My rock does not like to be sniffed. No, sweet Jesus. Um, Alright, so... Drop off this stuff. Skeever go. They just fuck off into space. I need to check. One of these was a special kill. Yeah, that's you. I'm not going to take the actual meat because I'm going to actually do the appropriate harvesting.
Plenty of good stuff. Nah, don't need that. We don't need that. Definitely gonna go with the brown bear, cave bear. So much good stuff. Okay, well, what time is it? It's 12 p.m. It means all the stores should be open at this point. Should be able to sell everything I got that I want to. Let's go do that first. First off, what we're going to do is we're going to break down the things we want to actually bother breaking down. Odie's really just interested in the steel. He likes using it for his arrows. When he gets around to actually making them. Do I have a skill points available? I do not. How far along is my smithing? 22. Need to get to 30, I think. 30 is going to get me Elven. Yeah, that's where I want to get. Elven, that's when stuff's going to get jumping off. But because I I play certain restrictions, it's not going to be a quick get to. Like it can be. Over to stream, I'm game with John. Here. You can call me John. If you have any questions. All right. Well, Welcome to war. Let's sell some of our ill-gotten, not really ill-gotten goods, but our gotten goods. I'm going to trade up my woodcutter's axe for the poacher's axe, because that should work just the same. And sell a bunch of this. Now, I know he's probably going to be going to leather armor, but that's not, he didn't make that. That's different. I suppose I still could have used it. I mean, right now he's wearing all borrowed gear anyways. Good doing business with you. Borrowed meaning as he killed somebody and took it from them. Huh? Yeah, stop following me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I've got amethyst and some books and scrolls and potions I need to sell. Okay, let's go over here. This guy better actually be open. Last time it was unlocked. Take a good look around, I'm he yelled sure at me for coming in. For. Everything. Oh, I swear, okay, I didn't pick it either. I, for one of the first times, I didn't do it. <laughs> Alright, so he's got some money, so I gotta keep my hunting knife. Need that. Yeah, you can have that. You can have that. 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 You can have that. Ugh. Picking up too much stuff off of people. Uh, hold on, before I... Darn it. I knew it. Okay, sell the amethyst to him. Sell the book to him. Just sell some more potions, I guess. Oops. Alright. Do come back. And head over to the actual potion shop and sell potions there. This is pretty much it. This is a rinse and repeat of his survival right now. You look rather when, uh, take a look. things go bad, which they inevitably will. Um, let's buy a couple of these. It's the only reason why he actually has money, why he bothers with it. Because, you know, in reality, <laughs> in not Come video games, eventually, you know, you got to stop hunting. You're either going to hunt the areas, you know, decent game that you're actually hunting for to extinction. What's up? I'm just out and about, love. Oh. The bannered mare can do without me. You're a bit suspect. Uh, or it's going to be like winter. You're not going to be able to find your game. 
that you're going for. I know your family's honor is important to you. Let's see, do I still have anything else? I got a scroll that's worth a fair bit of money. Probably sell it up here to Fongar. Oh, right, okay. So now we're going to have to deal with uh, drenching. So my armor has a coverage value you can see down there at uh, 155. So that's how uh, insulating, not insulating, not exactly the right word, it's how well sealed my gear is. The more open it is, like, you know, studded armor, you've got your waist, maybe something going across your chest, depending upon exactly which one. So that's going to get you very minimal cover which means as you get rained on. Margar, where you, were you at? Oh, you're over there. Um, so now you're going to be wet, which means the exposure value is going to be higher. You're going to, you know, the difference between being wet and cold is much more different than just being somewhere that's cold. And the rest of that's mine. So, I have to keep an eye on that as well. I can't just have armor that has really high warmth that gives me a good warmth value with no coverage. Because as soon as I get into a rain storm, I'm going to start suffering from major exposure pretty quick because I'm going to get drenched. Just like if I jumped into that water. And then, even though it may not be as cold, you know, my gear would normally keep me warm enough to survive. Because of that level of wetness on top of that, that exposure is going to start really impacting me a lot sooner. And then I eventually die. Thus, the death from exposure. Um, so now I have to deal with this. So I've got a couple of things I can do. Obviously, I could go stay at the Bannered Mare. Uh not going to do that, don't need to do that, because I actually have a camp set up with a fire. I forgot to cut firewood again. Let me go do that. Um, but yeah, I have camp with a fire and an actual leather tent. So that's a tent that was made with, you know, uh, treated leather. Um, and it's going to keep the rain out. So as long as I'm either sitting or sleeping in there, as far as the game mechanic is concerned, that's going to protect me. Uh, it's going to keep me from getting wet, which means my exposure rate is not going to go up to the point where it's going to be dangerous. I'm going to have a fire also nearby, which is going to help me stay warm. So I'm going to have those two things going for me, and with that I will be able to still go out, hunt, um, gather whatever I need to to survive um, and you know, help him with whatever he wants to do, which in Odie's respect, he's, he, he requires very little. He likes to have his nice area that he is designated as his safe. He likes to go out and hunt. Obviously with dragons showing back up, that's a problem. He's waiting because he doesn't normally stay in towns. And really interact with people. Like if he has spare of anything, he'll maybe sell it because you know, winter comes, time gets harsh. We're in Skyrim for you know, Talos' sake. I mean, it's going to be bad. So he may end up having to stay. He may have to winter in a town. So he has a need for money. Um, but with these dragons, he's staying nearby because they're a problem and he needs to know if they're going to be able to deal with it they being civilization he does not really count himself amongst the civilized in that aspect because he doesn't partake in their society hey welcome to the stream i'm gamer john you call me john um but yeah so that's his outlook when it comes to the people in these towns it's like, fine, you live here, that's great, I'm going to camp outside. Uh, but yeah, depending upon how they deal with the dragon thing, and, and that's how I'm in the game, so that's, you know, his internal, like a roaring campfire. 
And it's going to cost me three to replenish, so I've got enough fuel to replenish it. So this is a 12-hour fire. So... Yeah, so there, here's... Because it's the first time it's rained in this playthrough uh, heavily enough where now I am starting to get wet. So... Let's see here. Uh, it's so far it's not bad enough that's given me an actual uh, status. So let me go ahead and do my prey thing. I'm gonna try to do my prey thing. I'm not moving. I'm go backwards for a hot second. There we go. Right into Jeff. Jeffrey. It's a uh, if you look in the lore, it's a uh, wood elf or Bosmer god. All right, so I brought some mud crabs over here that I had killed previously. Yep, and they're stuck on the terrain, so I'm just going to have to clean them here. So let me do that. So I've started the cleaning process. I've gutted them. Now I'm going to start harvesting ingredients and meat. And then if this was an actual leather or skin, skinned animal, then I would uh, also be harvesting skin. Now this takes time. One good thing is, so there's this experience, there's this uh, level that's going on in the background for this mod that I'm using. Um, see, now it's 3 in the afternoon, so I've used up, started this, these are 12 hour fires, so an hour and a half has gone by just to deal with those two. I think, can I cook? Nope, I replenish. All right, so I got ten and a half hours. I'm gonna take a nap here. Uh, let's see here. If I do ten hours, well, it's a mess I can get because I wanted to get to the next morning, give this storm a chance to go over, but that's not gonna happen. I have to get up in the middle of the night, fuel the fire. go again. How are we doing? Ah, uh, we're, we are a bit hungry. Get that wood crab. Store. Whoops, out of the way. Deadwood, firewood. That off, drop that off, drop that off. Now I'm doing cleanup. All right. Five in the morning, then we're going to head out. Luckily enough, the storm has passed. So let's take a look at our skills for our camping. Uh, okay. Nothing there yet. Like I said, I mean, I'm still in Whiterun. It's a very temperate area, so... Not surprised. It's still a little... My tent so we could see he's... Um... Whoops, I hit the wrong one. Sit back down. So we can see when we sit in our tent, he takes off some of his gear. Backpack. The bow. See, he take off his boots, his hood, maybe his gloves. I can't tell. And it's a way to just kind of dynamically wait if you want to, like. <clears throat> and I'll probably get a bigger tent. He doesn't need it, but why not? Doesn't do any harm. So that's really. I mean, I'm not going to say it's easy, but I'm going to take this tent and I'm going to just add leather to it. 
see, considering I don't have enough leather to make myself my own basic freaking armor, um, I'm not going to worry about a tent right now. I'm going to worry about hunting. Alright, I was able to take down two... They honestly look more like reindeer to me, but yeah, they are deer. Hey, hey. all right. I'm gonna just field dress. I'm just gonna clean them up right here. Everything should be fine. I'm not drenched, so I don't really have to worry about exposure that much. I've got plenty of stuff on me to keep me warm. Are we hungry yet? No. Okay. We're gonna move on to the next one. So we're gonna field dress this guy, skin it. I'm hoping I'm getting. I've learned I got actual deer hide this time. That's good. That's with the, not the worst. There is a worse uh, skinning knife. It's a stone knife. Um, but the worst one you can like manufacture and have it just kind of hang out. The stone knife, it's good because you can gather it like you can uh, go out and you can gather with the hunting mod and uh, you'll gather random things like edible mushrooms berries uh, other things like that which yes they are useful but they are also you know what this one has stuff for me uh, but they have the tendency to break because they're just stone knives. They're not any kind of worked metal. They're not iron or steel. Gotcha. Just need 30. Nice. Uh, thankfully, I've been upgrading my stamina and I've got some nice. Got a nice backpack and a few pouches, so I am actually able to carry quite a bit of weight on me, which is super nice. Hey, ah, Skeever, stop it! <laughs> All right. How much weight do I got? Okay, so I got around 245 pounds. Technically, 200. 55, but I'm not gonna. No, no, 250. Thalmor. They're jerks. Uppity elves. 200. I could get a couple wolves. Speaking of which, there's one. I could probably also get a deer, a small deer. I couldn't get an elk. Or like a saber cat, they're too big. Ah, oh, dang it. That was exciting. I think I got exactly what I needed there. Slightly injured. Uh, what are we at? Yeah, 435. So just 10 pounds shy of max. Let's take these guys back. Clean them up. See what we can get. But yeah, as I was saying with the uh, with the cleaning, because I'm using a fairly you know, not high quality, gets the job done kind of hunting knife. It's made out of iron. It's going to get dull quick. I'm cutting through skin, through uh, skin of the animal. I'm using it for all kinds of other things. I'm harvesting components. So that's not only cutting through organs for important organs. I'm in a giant's camp and that is dangerous. Um, 
I'm also doing things like I'm taking antlers, so I am prying the antler out from the skull of the animal. Uh, I am harvesting bones, so if it looks like there's, you know, the animal has some good bones, uh, I'm harvesting them away from the main structure of the animal. Um, I'm using it to cut all manner of creatures as well, not just, you know, deer. I'm also, you know, wolves, mud crabs, skeevers, who have various uh, types of requirements when it comes to cutting the animal and what it's going to do to that blade. So the fact that I am doing that is what's going to cause my blade to become dull. And this is a really, I mean, no, what are you doing? Stop that. Bad crab. He wanted to surf one more time. God, he doesn't even want to move now. But like this my crab, I'm going to clean him. Which means I have to get inside him with my tool that I'm using. So it's just an iron knife that's shaped and sharpened in a certain way to be used for skinning. It's going to get dull. It's going to get dull probably in the process of cleaning the animal. And I'm not going to have the opportunity to clean it. So when you take that kind of those kinds of facts into consideration, yeah, a basic iron knife is not going to be as beneficial as, say, something made out of steel. Or, because we're in a fantasy world, uh, one of the fantasy materials. So, like a blade, just eat raw meat, I can, uh, you know, a blade made out of orichalum, ebony, dragon bone, you know, there's other options out there that are obviously going to be better and they're going to lend themselves to, I've learned from skinning, uh, lend themselves to be able to do the job easier. Just gonna allow me to get, you know, better quality. I didn't want to pick you up. Uh, materials. Skin that guy. Things went by a lot. It's still pretty late in the day. It's 2 p.m. But that's where the skill, you saw that my skill was increasing. Uh, me going through and doing this repeatedly uh, is what's going to make it so that way I can do the things I need to do as far as being able to uh, skin these pelts so that way they produce more workable material uh, and with that practice also comes speed so old saying in the Navy slow is smooth smooth is fast um, that means you go as slow as you need to do to keep the job to keep the job that you're doing to go in a smooth fashion and that is fast that is the speed at which you go to do whatever job you need to do um, and then as you get that smoothness down with practice it becomes speed so and then you increase speed as you increase capability alright so I've got some good leather now Yes, poor. Nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna make all that into workable material as much as I can. Pop up stamina some more. I'm not gonna spend the skill point just yet, so I should be able to start making some actual armor. Not a lot of armor from the looks of it, but we'll see. 
So that's my chest piece. I need boots. I am going to go with the standard stuff. I have got this stuff, but that's not his style. Uh, gauntlets. Now, here's a hood. I wanted to give him. Uh, I think it's like a padded, padded fur hood. Two fur plates and two steel ingots. Well, diggity dang. Alright. Now. Despite the fact that this has higher stats, so it has 8 armor, but only has 12 warmth and 21 coverage. Uh, no, which one was I like? Oh, sorry. Gauntlets. So, gauntlets, bracers. So, 8, 5, 6, 7, 12, 14. And that's because these just cover more. So the mod designer for Frostfall took into account what does it actually cover? Does it cover things? Would it provide you more ample coverage? I'm going to take the hit on my warmth and coverage on my bracers because it's more of his style. And that is counterintuitive to who Odie is. That's but for right design. now, it's for him, it's better than this borrowed gear. I'm going to work on the hood at another point. Why can't I do anything with a skeever pelt? Don't forget to check Why would I have a skeever pelt if I can't use it for something? Oh, I need a second one, and I can make a fur plate. Well, I need two fur plates and two um, steel ingots to make that padded hood. Now, I've got two steel ingots because I've been killing folk and taking the good steel out of it. Hi, oh, right, welcome to the stream. I'm Gamer John. Uh, you can call me John. So I've got the steel. The fur padding, though, I don't have that readily available. I'd have to go and go kill some more stuff. So let me get into my cache here. Drop off some of this stuff. I don't need that on me. Make sure I didn't pick up anything that breaks the green pack. No. Raw food, that's fine. Yeah, I don't need that, that on me. I got my hunting knife, I got my axe, and my bows and arrows. My bow and arrows. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Let's see if I can get that fur plate before. And we call it today. Uh, oh. All right. That was a hit. Come on, one more before he runs. Excellent. Okay. And it looks like I got his partner too. Alright. I gotta double check my sky test mod because it's supposed to give animals more you know realistic uh, AI. And I don't know, just standing there getting shot doesn't seem realistic to me. So I'm going to double check on that one. So that doesn't make any sense. All right. Poor. Come on. My salmon's spoiled. Oh no. I got food going bad on me. It's the problem with keeping with the green pack. So you're not supposed to eat plants. Plants can have a longer shelf life. So 
5 p.m. That didn't take me too much longer. It only took me about an hour or so to clean those two animals. Did I get the fur I need to make? I got an elk hide. I should be able to make a couple fur plates out of that. So let me go grab the steel out of my cache. Let me go grab that salmon that's evidently gone bad. Eh, stop it. Don't remember if I actually needed that. I only need two stealing ingots. Let's grab those. Can we get him geared up before the end of today's stream? I think we can. I'm going to drop a quick save because right after I said that, the game was going to crash. That's how it works. So excited. Okay. Gotta make the fur plates. Need two of them. Two fur plates. Fantastic. Um, sure. That was a little bit odd. Should be able to make the padded padded fur hood, which once again is not as good statistically speaking as the torturer's hood that I already have, but that's fine. Do not care. Because now, Odie is looking more like himself. A couple borrowed patches, but we can also make our own. Well met, Traveler. See anything you like. Welcome to war. Take a look. War bearer. By my hood. It's Good doing business it. with you. All right. Looking real good now at this point. Odie's suited up, ready to go. I think at this point he's going to feel comfortable to maybe uh, now with the exposure to the town. He needs to be in the know for things. Uh, because like I said, he's concerned about the dragon issue. So he's going to have to start getting a little bit more involved. So that means he's not going to go right to the guy at the top because, you know, it doesn't necessarily make sense. 100% spoiled food. Ew. Gross. Um, so he's going to start working with the people around him. Let me grab all this food. I want to see what's going, what's going off. Just that salmon. Everything else seems fine. Just odd. Um, Sailors. I think we're just about set. I'm gonna get rid of this food. I'd like, go bury it somewhere. Right over here. E Chris. All right, it's over there. And we're gonna call it here. Go ahead, drop a hard save. And this is where we're gonna pick up Odie next time. So, um, don't know if I'll be streaming Odie again necessarily the very next time. Um, 
I'll probably gonna start putting up polls again on twit on uh, Twitter. So you want to follow me up there? Is my Twitter right there? That's my YouTube channel right below. Just search Gamer John. Uh, I do post these uh, streams up on there as well, so they can be watched later on, both for myself and anyone else who wants to watch it. I want to thank everyone who popped in, for the people who came in and had some conversation with me, especially the followers. So Painful Kid, East uh, Anicam, and uh, was that I, <laughs> I? I mispronounced it earlier, uh, but Aki D Dio Bro really messed that up. I apologize. Uh, thank you for the follows. Really appreciate it. Uh, anyone who just popped in and just watched, didn't say anything, didn't follow, that's fine. I have no problem with people just kind of tuning in, listening to me ramble, and watching me play. Thanks again for coming by. Take care of each other and yourselves because. That's all we got.